Grace and peace be with you from God our Father and Lord Jesus Christ. And also with you. Let us pray. Jesus, you are the way through our wilderness. Show us your truth in which we journey, and by the grace of the Holy Spirit, be in us the life that draws us to God. We'll begin with a reading from Isaiah. Is not this the fast I choose, to loose the bonds of injustice, to undo the thongs of the yoke, to let the oppressed go free, and to break every yoke? Is it not to share your bread with the hungry and bring the homeless poor into your house, when you see the naked, to cover them and not hide yourself from your own kin? Then your light shall break forth like the dawn, and your healing shall spring up quickly. Your vindicator shall go before you, the glory of the Lord shall be your rear guard. Then you shall call, and the Lord will answer. You shall cry for help, and he will say, Here I am. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We'll continue with a portion of Psalm 119, as is found there on your screen. It'll be the last section of Psalm 119, verses 169 to 176, found on page 777. Praying together, let, let my, my cry come, come before you, O Lord. Give me understanding according to your word. Let my supplication come before you. Deliver me according to your promise. My lips shall pour forth your praise when you teach me your statutes. My tongue shall sing of your promise, for all your commandments are righteous. Let your hand be ready to help me, for I have chosen your commandments. I long for your salvation, O Lord, and your law is my delight. Let me live, and I will praise you, and let your judgments help me. I have gone astray like a sheep that is lost. Search for your servant, for I do not forget your commandments. This is a reading from the Gospel according to St. Luke. Jesus said, Love your enemies. Do good to those who hate you. Bless those who curse you. Pray for those who abuse you. If anyone strikes you on the cheek, offer the other also. And from anyone who takes away your coat, do not withhold even your shirt. Give to everyone who begs from you. If anyone takes away your goods, do not ask for them again. Do to others as you would have them do to you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I'll offer just a little reflection beginning with the passage from Isaiah, one of my favorite passages. Those of you who, who watch these uh, healing liturgies know I have lots of favorites, just about one every week. So this is one. It's the call of Isaiah for the people to shine, to shine with a glorious light, to share their bread with the hungry, to bring the homeless poor in for protection, to cover the naked, the vulnerable, not to hide our faces from our own kin, our own neighbors when they are in need. I just have to say this. When things are especially dark in the world, that's when the light shines most clearly. That's when the differentiation is most obvious. And for me, one small but important light that shines in the present darkness is the opportunity I get every day when I enter the parking lot to look off to the side at the Tupperware bins by the double doors in front of the church and to see new gifts every day that are in the bins or overflowing the bins, brought here by people who choose to shine with the light of God's grace in a time that is difficult and dark. The promise that the prophet Isaiah gives is beautiful. It is that our vindicator, the Lord our God, goes before us. In other words, sort of to maybe blaze the trail. We are not alone on this pathway and the glory of the Lord is also the rear guard. God has our back. And so that idea of being preceded by and followed by the grace and mercy of God is of great comfort. 
Isaiah says to the people, when you cry for help, the Lord will answer, here I am. And there's that beautiful echo of the naming of God to his vulnerable servant Moses when he first listened to the name, I am who I am. The passage from the Gospel according to St. Luke, probably not my favorite, because it just is so demanding. Jesus is in the midst of the Sermon on the Mount and he's telling us to love our enemies and to to do good to the people who, who hate us, to bless the people who curse us. And he is really dialing up his expectation. It feels exhausting, and that's why I don't like it. I read something this morning in the present fog of all that's going on. I cannot remember where I read this already. But nonetheless, <clears throat> I read the, about the, the, the Hebrew word uh, mitzvah. Uh, which is often thought of as good deed. Um, it, I believe it also translates to commandment. And that, and that makes sense because the great commandment is to love God with all your heart and to love your neighbor. In other words, with good deeds, to love your neighbor as yourself. But the piece I was reading this morning also made reference to something within the etymology of the term mitzvah that references connection. And I think there was really something powerful there to, for us to plumb, to think about the fact that we are indeed connected to one another. We, we know it intuitively, and in some ways this uh, virus is making it more um, horribly and wonderfully palpable at the same time. We are connected to one another. Our, our healing is connected, and likewise, our sickness is, is connected. Choose healing. That's the message. Choose the mitzvah of shining the light of God that, that we already possess. Um, being guided by that light, as the psalmist described in the commandments, and then sharing that light with mitzvah. Share your bread with the hungry. Bring the homeless poor in. Cover the naked, protect the vulnerable, and don't hide our faces from those who depend upon us. God bless you. We continue with the litany of healing. God the Father, your will for all people is health and salvation. We praise you and thank you, O Lord. God the Son, you came that we may have life and might have it more abundantly. We praise you and thank you, O Lord. God the Holy Spirit, you make our bodies the temple of your presence. We praise you and we thank you, O Lord. Holy Trinity, one God, in you we live and move and have our being. We praise you and thank you, O Lord. Lord, grant your healing grace to all who are sick injured or disabled, that they may be made whole. Hear us, O Lord of love. Grant to all who seek your guidance and to all who are lonely, anxious, or despondent a knowledge of your will and an awareness of your presence. Hear us, O Lord of love. Mend broken relationships and restore those in emotional distress to soundness of mind and serenity of spirit. Hear us, O Lord of life. Bless physicians, nurses, and all others that minister to the suffering, granting them wisdom and skill, sympathy and patience, courage and protection. Hear us, O Lord of life. Grant to the dying peace and a holy death, and uphold by the grace and consolation of your Holy Spirit those who are bereaved. Hear us, O Lord of life. Restore to wholeness whatever is broken by human sin in our lives, in our nation, and in the world. Hear us, O Lord of life. You are the Lord that does wonders. You have declared your power among the peoples. With you, O Lord, is the well of life. And in your light we see light. Hear us, O Lord of life. Heal us and make us whole. 
Let us pray. God of the present moment, who in Jesus stills the storm and soothes the frantic heart, bring hope and courage to your beloved children for whom we pray. confess our sins. God of grace, we confess that we have sinned in what we have thought and said and done. Forgive us for the sake of Jesus Christ. May God kindle in us the fire of love to bring us alive and give warmth to the world. Lead me from death to life from falsehood to truth. Lead me from despair to hope, from fear to trust. Lead me from hate to love, from war to peace. Let peace fill my heart, my community, my world. Amen. God the Father, God the Son, God the Spirit forgives your sins. You are pardoned and set free to follow God's lead. Amen. Like the first disciples before the coming of God's power at Pentecost, we wait in faith and pray. Be with us, Holy Spirit. Nothing can separate us from your love. Be with us as of old. Fill us with your power. Be present, Holy Spirit. Direct all our thoughts to your goodness. Bring faith and healing and peace. Amen. In the name of God Most High, we lift you up to God's most gracious care and keeping. Receive Christ's healing touch to make you whole in body, mind, and spirit. The power of God strengthen you, the love of God dwell in you, and give you peace. Amen. Praying together, eternal spirit, earth maker, pain bearer, life giver. Source of all that is and that shall be. Father and mother of us all. Loving God, in whom heaven is found. The hallowing of your name echo through the universe. The way of your justice be followed by the peoples of the world. Your heavenly will be done by all created beings. Your reign of peace and freedom sustain our hope and come to earth. With the bread we need for today, feed us. In the hurts we absorb from one another, forgive us. In times of temptation and test, strengthen us. From trials too great to endure, spare us. From the grip of all that is evil, free us. For you reign in the glory of the power that is love. Now and forever. Amen. Amen. God be your comfort, your strength. God be your hope and support. God be your light and your way. And the blessing of God, creator, redeemer, and sustainer of life, remain with you now and always. Amen. Abide in peace, love, and serve the Lord and your neighbor. Thanks be to God.